back into camp. You know, it's, it's going to be tiring, but it's, it's the time that we push. This is the time that well, we strive better than others. And we push as hard as we can. Yeah. Is this where that wall starts to kick, kick, kick in, where you're trying to push through that wall now? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone's tired, you know. You just, it's a day and a mindset you got to have that you want to push and you want to work on something every day to get better, no matter if you're tired or not. Your head, coaches talk, your head coaches talked about competitive stamina a lot this offseason. Is this kind of where that, you know, is, is a focus now, that competitive stamina to push through, um, knowing that later on in the season this is going to be something you're going to have to face? Oh, for sure. Because doing this now, I mean, doing all this hard work, I'm tired, I'm straining every day, it's definitely going to pay for it to be later on in the season where we're feeling the same way. We're tired. We're good. You know, who knows? Like, we had to go to practice and then we had to play a game. Who knows how long the season could be? So. Yeah, definitely the face off. Did you hear what Devin Wilson said yesterday about the D-line? They just keep coming over the walls. You don't need to let up on them. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you putting the you're putting them under duress, huh? Yes, sir. I mean, that's what we do every day. We're trying, we're trying to make the offensive line better, trying to make the offense better all together. And that's if we're just doing our jobs. You all have the upper hand right now? Uh, I say we, we push each other every day. So, I mean, it's about even every day. We make each other work. Okay. How much more comfortable do you guys feel with uh, the, the new defense at this point in camp? Um, I mean, right now we've been doing it for uh, four or five months, so I mean we're pretty comfortable doing it right now. We're just trying to work on the little things, like we're trying to just make it better for everyone, doing it better. So I think we're pretty comfortable with it. What do you like? Uh, what do you like about the defense? Uh, just us being able to move freely, be able to put a defensive line to be able to move, and then the linebackers be able to help us, and then be able to shoot the gas faster, and it's easier for the defense to just work together, basically. It's supposed to be a very aggressive defense and multiple. Yeah. Like, can you like tell already, like in the scrimmage and things like that? Oh yeah, for sure. You can tell that just linebackers coming down to it faster, be able to make plays, and each other make we're making them look better and making us look better. Coach Johnson, I mean, I feel like he blends with everyone. You know, he's he, there's been plenty of coaches that've been through here, and, and every single time he he's able to find a way to be able to gel with them and make it work. And, and there's never been like a problem or anything with any of the coaches. He always makes it work. I'm also curious because you also have another personal mentor you and your brother. How often do you turn towards him on and maybe get some advice from him? Uh, usually, I try to talk to him every once in a while. You know, he's busy too, but. It's always good to pick his mind because, you know, he's, he's been there, he's, he's done this, he's also in the NFL now, so it's even more be able to, to pick his brain and be able to listen off what things he did is like his bad, his good, and be able to learn from that and be able to do and make everything off of that. Now, is, it, is it tough to stay patient, to wait, you know, kind of wait your turn, but also press the gas to try to make your turn happen, you know, right now, so to speak? How, how do you play that? Because obviously, Devon kind of. You know, he had, to, he had to play both those games, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I feel like that it's just a time thing. You know, every day I'm working every day. So it's just one of our models is just next man up. So you never know what could happen. And it's just me every day I'm trying to push because I want to play like I want to be a starter every day. So I, that's how I had to motivate myself to do that. No matter if I'm a one, two, or three, that's just how I want to play. How do you Last guys, question right here. How do you guys, you know, on the inside especially, how do, how do you pace yourself in preseason camp because y'all are in a fist fight every day. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not like 707s where don't touch the receivers and all that kind of stuff. But because uh, when y'all collide, you're, you know, it's big guys colliding. How, how do you learn to pace yourself, I guess, during a camp? Yeah, what, well, since we got, we got a lot of good players, defense line players on our team. So what Coach Jay does, he likes to rotate a lot of defense alignment. So uh, that's what we, we, we get our breaks. So we're able to get off the field, we get, make a good play, get off the field, and have to be able to rotate because we're so deep in depth. So. Yeah. That's what makes us like be able to pace ourselves and be good and be able to come back and be well rested and keep coming back at the offensive line. And one other quick thing, how much is uh, Coach Knowles and others stress to you guys? What? Boy, if you can control the A gaps, you know, yeah. good things happen, right? I mean, I would, I mean, I'm, I'm sure y'all always think about that anyway, but has it been even more stressed, I guess, this camp? Since um, Coach Knowles got here? I mean, with Coach Knowles' scheme, I mean, it, it works. It just really gels. like. All the gaps are filled with the on the plays, and we just work. So, I mean, A gaps is filled, B gaps, and C to D. It just all works together. Thanks, man. All right, thank you, Ty.